happen if the upgrade fails? Not even actually the upgrade fail, but if you cannot even start the upgrade because the download is not happening. Because, I don't know, uh, the firewall is blocking, so you cannot actually download, but you don't know, or the firewall was blocking, and now it's not anymore, but the download is still not working. So here on the configuration manager, we can see the update for 21.11 is in downloading state. I have done, well, I've reverted snapshot to be in this position where it's downloading, and of course, did some trick on the firewall, so configuration manager is not able to download uh, the files properly. So if I go here on the uh, location that um, the files are being downloaded on the configuration manager installation folder, there is a easy setup payload. You can see here, it is stuck about three meg. If I try to delete this file, you can see that's being used by the SMS exec. But so how I get, if I fix, let me remove this update. So if I fix the problem, how can I make sure configuration manager then can actually do the work? So if I go here to the documentation, we have this understanding troubleshoot updates and servicing configuration manager. It's a big uh, um, documentation. It does explain everything that's happening, how the download, the uh, everything. So everything, every single file where it's going to be, how we can manually do that. And there is a flow that I actually explain the whole process. And of course, if you can follow this, you know exactly what the problem and how to fix the problem. Uh, but one of the things I want to show you is the issue number three here, if we scroll down. Uh, let me just search for two, actually. Oh, too quickly. We have here issue three, console gets stuck, displaying downloading. So in this case, what we need to do? We need to restart the SMS exec because the file is in use, so we uh, remove the file um, lock, and we use the update reset tool to be able to um, start the process again, because there is no way from the console that we start downloading the file again. And here, on this other documentation, update reset tool, it does explain where we get the file from. It's going to be from cd.latest SMS type tools, and there is also here what's the parameters we need to use. So what we're going to do is let's move to the configuration manager. And again, let me show you how I'm going to run the tool. The first one, I'm going to run the tool without stopping the SMS exec. The second one, or restarting the SMS exec. The second one, I'm going to run the tool only stopping the SMS exec, but not starting. And the third one, then I'm going to run uh, restarting the SMS exec. So, and let me just show you again, if I try to delete this file, this file is being used. So this is the reason we need to recycle the SMS exec. So if I go where I installed configuration manager, remember that is the cd.latest folder, SMS setup, and there is a folder called tools. And inside this folder, we have here CM update reset, another folder, and we have the cm update reset.exe file. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open a command prompt as administrator, and I'm going to browse to that folder. So we can see I'm on that folder. And of course, if I just run with slash question mark, it's going to give me the help. So I already got the uh, command line. So the first is server database, oh, SQL, data, SQL server, SQL database, and the um, package ID. Again, remember on the other video uh, on the installation of the configure the update, how we get, right click, package ID. You can see here to the side we have the package ID. Also, if you go to where you install configuration manager, is the setup bay load, you can see here that's going to be the configuration manager uh, file. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just press enter. Yes, that is a big warning. So I'm going to click yes. And you can see here at the end, we have a error. So we have lots of things that may have happened and then we have error. This error is we cannot or we are not able to delete this file because you can see here this file is being used by the SMS exec. In your case here, you can see the file is growing. It's just I try to, to, to make sure that it's really slow the internet. So what I'm going to do now is, again, this is a lab. I'm just demonstrate, don't do this in real life, okay? I'm going to stop the SMS exec. And to do this, I'm going to just end the process. And this file here is not used anymore. So I'm going to run the tool again, just to show you exactly what is happening. And now you can see, well, the SMS exec is not running. So we need to have the SMS exec running. So I'm going to start the SMS exec. And probably it's going to take a little bit of time for the SMS deck to do everything. So this is a good time for you to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave in the, the comment section below. If there is a question, remember, use the hashtag AskRafael so it's easy for me to find out. Remember, all this is free. If I'm helping you, just take like a couple of seconds and try to help me as well. So any, anyway, so SMS is like probably is already up and running. So we can just then execute this command line. And you can see everything seems to have been successful. And if I go back here, we don't see that ID anymore. We see another ID. And if you refresh, depends on how quickly we did, the file is no longer there. Oops. But what we have is, is a variable to be downloaded. So I can just then, as soon as it loads, click here to download or wait a few few minutes, the download will restart. So this is quite a simple way for you to fix a download that was maybe corrupted, maybe the firewall is not allowing, all those kind of stuff. Just remember, it's quite simple. Just use the tool and it will do the work for you. If this does not fix, that documentation has more um, information, more options for you, and then maybe you can actually download the files from alternative server, from another machine, from home or whatever, and then bring it to, to the environment. Okay. Hope this was a good video for you. Lots of troubleshooting, and I will see you on the next one.